this lesson, we're going to learn how to add actions for um, removing a widget, removing a tchotchke, as well as buying an individual tchotchke. So we'll exercise kind of a couple of different REST calls that we'll build up, uh, as well as uh, make sure that everything is uh, properly called on the component side. So first things first, we have to go back and we have to uh, add these methods to our actual service. And there are two methods to add. Um, there's a patch and a remove tchotchke method. So let me just grab those and we'll add those in here at the end. Paste them in. Let's take a look at these guys. So we've got patch tchotchke with an ID and the data. And the way patch in the HTTP REST call APIs work is it overlays any of the properties you provide, but doesn't overwrite the ones that you don't. And so the idea is if we want to mess with something like a, um, a particular inventory amount, we can do so. Uh, and I have a little special trick that I'm using actually to do that uh, for bumping our inventory down, which I will show you. And it's basically a contract between the caller and the patch call. Uh, so you can see what's going on there. It's basically asking for a request of a decrementation of inventory, and then we will decrement it on the server side and send back a response. So there's the patch tchotchke call. It's HTTP client patch. Patch will return the updated tchotchke with all the data merged into it. Uh, and so we're going to call it, pass it the ID. Note I'm using the back tick here, and they automatically encode the back tick code uh, so that you don't have any kind of special hacking characters pass through. Uh, so it's good to use the back ticks here and to use the patch call from HTTP client or another API if you choose, as long as it does the URL encoding uh, for the ID. And then remove tchotchke is a delete call in HTTP. And HTTP delete can do whatever you want it to do. And in general, systems will just mark a bit deleted so you can't see it uh, in the actual data record or move it to another table. Uh, instead of physically deleting it, because for audit trail purposes, that's bad. But since we're under no particular concerns, we can just do this. So that takes care of that. So there are two methods in the service. And then we can go through and add two additional buttons to our table. So if we go to our list component. That's where we're going to put this. We're going to add two table data rows right here. And you'll notice that um, I have two buttons. Each of them has a, uh, and this is Twitter Bootstrap CSS, so it's a button that's small. The first is a primary button, and the second one is a danger button to let you know that it's a more serious thing to do, which it's in red in the default style sheet. And I'm assuming there are two methods on my component, decrement inventory, based on the ID of the tchotchke, and remove tchotchke, based on the tchotchke ID. Uh, and you, you could do these 10 different ways. We're going to add these methods to the bottom. All right, so first things first, let's look at decrementing the inventory. Uh, decrementing the inventory, whoops, a little screen problem here. And that's what that looks like, buy one and delete. Um, decrementing the inventory, what I'm doing is I'm saying, add a property when we patch the tchotchke. Just overlay the property if it's there, which it won't be. Um, and if it's not there, add it called purchased quantity one. And on my REST server, my contract says, if I get that, then go ahead and decrement the inventory by one. Um, and if there is an error, which we're not really dealing with in this particular set of examples, but you could uh, manipulate your code and make it even more robust. But if there is an error, we go below the zero mark um, go ahead and throw an error um, in REST terms so we can deal with it. But for now, this is good enough for us. So when we do a purchased inventory of one, it will decrement the, the uh, quantity on hand by one and then return us back a tchotchke with that patch data and rip out the purchase quantity because we've done the operation. We subscribe to that. So that's what that method should do. And then remove tchotchke is a lot easier this is calling the remove tchotchke with the key and then just, you know, console logging that has actually been done. Um, and in either case, if we've got an error, that's our second callback and this is observable and we're doing a message box alert. So, you know, maybe we'll get to see the decrementing fail here too. Let's take a look at that. All right, so we're going to buy one. Notice how what happened was we decremented. And remember that service is doing a refresh needed side effect 
which triggers the next message of refresh needed whenever we do something. So that we did this in the create, but it's definitely important for patch and for remove as well, because we're just manipulating buttons in a grid. So we want to refresh that grid when something changes. And indeed we are. All right, there we go. And then so um, going back to our UI, um, I'm going to buy another one. And for fun, oh, look at that. So I do get an error. And unfortunately, my message isn't great. But uh, let me decode that a little better. So we'll go back into the code here. And we will do a json.stringify the error. Let's try that again. Now the problem is we actually have to create another thing or go through 10 clicks. So I'm going to say that the quantity on hand is three and the price for three is, you know, a lot. Now, if I buy one, buy one, buy one, one more. And now you can see I've got an HP response backed and I send back a 409 conflict. Um, and the conflict is that the chalk key quantity is below your order point. So now you can see that we can actually send an error back and I can inspect that and do whatever I want with it. That's good enough for this example. You can make it more robust and a delete will rip it out and then reload the, the uh, user interface. Okay. I hope you find these useful. And if you're looking for on-site training, advice, mentoring, or technical help with any area of your full stack development efforts, head over to chariotsolutions.com to check out our services. Thank you.